good everybody welcome back to yet another video okay first and foremost i'd like to apologize for the video that did not go out on tuesday because um yeah i had stipulated that videos are gonna come out on tuesdays and fridays and that did not happen Inga, two weeks later i'm slacking already i apologize but anyway in today's video we're going to be talking about the different text decks that are used by your favorite um applications um so most of these are just like social media platforms because i mean anyway so yeah so today we're just going to be doing like a technical deep dive and check out um what they use in terms of their back end front end database and um where they hosted and whatnot but it's you know what it is <laughs> okay on number one we have your instagram instagram mm. yeah basically um that app that a uh, allows you to share your pictures your videos da, da, da. Kobone, the hashtag we're happy uh happy we, we're a set generation in, in happy pictures i mean <laughs> i think it's yeah that's that on that okay so looking at instagram so instagram in terms of their back end their server side they use python or django which is yeah python django in terms of front end they're using javascript and react js so yeah so the baby girl javascript has to be there and then for their database they use post gray post gray post gray guys ha sql halala i don't know how to say it. like i've never had to say it come to think of it <laughs> so basically with their cloud products or their where they um have their application database hosted is basically amazon s3 and other amazon services that they're using so yeah that's that on that so next up on number two um just a quick disclaimer it's in no particular order yeah I should have said that in the beginning but anyway we are here now it's in no particular order so on number two we have twitter the bird app so the blue one the blue bird the blue bird so basically twitter in terms of like their server side which is their back end they use um scalar and ruby well rails which is ruby um yeah so in terms of their front end they use bootstrap jquery node.js and um react amongst the others okay also just another quick disclaimer this is some of the main um you know tech stack it's not everything it's just the cream of the top i mean like well i would just say i'm the famous one so i wouldn't just like name and shame everybody because it's just a lot of stuff um of technologies uh that they do use so i'm just not gonna you get it <laughs> they basically use uh my sql database they're also hosted on i almost said as your on amazon okay on number three we have tiktok your favorite app and also guys i'm on tiktok um <laughs> i feel like tiktok is that um sana i i ignore tiktok so much but not as much as i ignore instagram like i don't post so yeah so lately i've discovered my talents so my tiktok talents because like when you're in tiktok um you need to have like a niche i think it's it's a bit similar to 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 youtube but the videos are shorter and more entertaining than youtube but anyway that's besides the point oh also like i'm enjoying tiktok fine i can't use it like to its full fullest potential but i'd like to think that i'm trying <laughs> the lip syncing business ciao yeah but anyway that's besides the point so uh in terms of the big back, back end they use javascript typescript they use go golang they use Start. they use c plus plus here's an go busy part of tiktok <laughs> no like go busy no like like people must dance people must lip sync so every text deck alive we must make use of it i mean i, I guess that's the whole theory 
behind it, come to think of it, because I mean, okay. <laughs> so in terms of the front end, they use um, same JavaScript, uh, TypeScript, the in thing. Um, I don't know why I did that. Anyway, it's embarrassing. <laughs> they use Vue. Is how do you view JS React JS? They also use Node JS. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, they're quite busy, child. They're quite busy, and also I didn't know that um, e TikTok has like a web um, don don. But like obviously it would have it, but I I didn't think that they were all. They also had like a web um, application. I thought it was just mainly. Um, a mobile app but little did i know son in terms of their database so they use um my um sql databases because child i mean they could hire me already kidding <laughs> or not um yeah and also they're hosted on amazon and i think you know i heard like a conversation some people were just talking about how like a lot of these big you know how 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 amazon has literally um cemented themselves <laughs> in the cloud space and making so much money because a lot of these um big organizations use amazon to host which is great and also like and a lady would think that micro because i'm a microsoft like Betty, I'm kidding. Um, I like Microsoft products, so uh, I thought when uh, I was since Microsoft is also like in, in terms of like their um Microsoft Office, almost everybody uses it, and every most most people use Teams. So I'd assume Obana people also uh, use Microsoft products like that because they're like quite popular. So I would have assumed Obana like these big organizations would use Microsoft uh, products. Next up, we have LinkedIn, right? my guess would be that okay uh, let me not it's unnecessary my guess is not needed here like okay so for the back end which is like the server side basically they use each other so they decided banner like <laughs> we're gonna go all the way to the java but anyway, yeah. And their front end, they use a bootstrap because it does look bootstrapped. <laughs> well, it does look bootstrapped. So they use bootstrap, jQuery, jQuery UI, and React JS, right? Good for them. I mean, big ups. <laughs> terms, in terms of the database, they're using MySQL and Oracle databases, and that's on per. I'm kidding. They use Oracle <laughs> databases. Um, I wouldn't say I'm over. I don't know why I'm overly excited, but I'm usually like this. Like this is this is the frequency I operate at. Okay, you gotta come up to my level. We we gotta give everything a little bit of love. Like I love it everything, but anyway, that's besides the point. So in terms of like cloud services, they use Amazon S3 and Microsoft Azure. Finally, somebody uses Microsoft. <laughs> okay, so next up we have eNetflix, you know. Um, also, guys, just to mention how Netflix is not doing very well in the stock markets. I have invested my money in Netflix because I thought like, wow, but also, also to make things worse, like I'm one of those people Okay, guys, but you allowed five people. You you allowed five accounts or five members or whatever. I don't pay for Netflix, but I've invested in it. And then now Netflix has reported that they've been making a loss, which is understandable because also, man, like, can they bring down their prices a little bit? Like, yeah. Anyway, um. <laughs> Let me not get into my feels right now. Let me not get into my feels, right? Also, like I haven't downloaded the the the, the Easy Equities app in a very long. I haven't had it in a while now because I was just too depressed. Crypto has oh guys, like if I knew, like if I knew, I would have cashed out my money. But anyway, that's besides the point. So Netflix decided, Obana, in the 
for their back end they're going to use each other and python you know they decided but now you guys are gonna watch not the anaconda guys python <laughs> okay yeah bad joke bad joke i get it i'll take it so for the front end they use react and node.js so in terms of like database they use the postgre postgre hey as a postgre postgre i never had to say it that's my thing and i've never heard anyone say it postgre sql and oracle database so in terms of the cloud services i'm not even sure because at this point i tried checking or they use oracle does oracle have cloud services probably i'm not sure anyway that's besides the point so next up last but not least we have a true caller <laughs> true caller your fave like don't tell me you don't have true caller well i don't because i have to shoot videos and i sometimes run out of space and true caller was one of those applications where i just told myself Bana, i'm gonna delete because to free up a little bit of space also guys i don't like answering numbers that i don't know because the next thing yeah guys maybe i should start answering who knows okay but i wouldn't know because i don't answer hey guys <laughs> also it's, it's a bit risky you know a lot could happen but anyway so we have true caller Sana, another thing true caller is also like one of those um applications that use so many languages guys like don't you guys clash because because i mean come to think of it like in a literal world right if you've got people speaking five languages and but they also find a common ground right i wonder which is the which one is the english in this case with all those languages which one is the english that says this is the common ground and we're all gonna you get <laughs> okay so basically uh this app called true caller uses java java c sharp python php golang uh, and ruby so at this rate i'm just thinking Bana, who's the english like also like for as much as who's the english who's the beyonce because wow <laughs> for the front end they're basically using ecss3 typescript no javascript like Oh, types, TypeScript, not JavaScript. Like, also, like, the JavaScript is, you know, the it girl at school, and then t TypeScript is, like, the friend, and they're always together, and... Hey, Sana, <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, so, in terms of the databases, guys, it would make sense how it doesn't have a database, as far as I know, and it would only make sense, because what is it storing? I think too often it uses local storage, because I remember... Uh, back in the day like a year or two ago <laughs> a year or two ago um, True Color would have a contact called spam and then it would store all your spam contacts in there so it's like local database okay and yeah also I think it's hosted on Amazon um yeah okay guys so that's it that's their tech stack, not mine. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the video. Bye!